Apple has just released the Logic 10.7 update and it's packed with new features. One of the most popular being the Dolby Atmos spatial audio where you can mix things and put them all around. It's around sound mixing, but that is not what I'm focusing on. I'm focusing on the step sequencer, which got a huge, huge, huge upgrade. And I'm about to share that with you right now. Okay, so as you guys see right here, I have the Logic Pro X step sequencer open right now and Initially, what you usually would see is this like this when I have an instrument loaded and it will change with whatever I switch this to. But Logic has changed it to where you no longer have to do it up there. You can literally do it right here. And if you do not see this on your screen, it could be because you have too much stuff open. Because on my MacBook, if I had both of these open, it kind of hid that. So that's just a tip for you guys. But anyway, so you can go to any key that you want. And then from there, you can change it to any scale. Like, I'm gonna go to the minor. So we're at E minor. So I can sit here and just play it. And what they did, let me turn my tag off. They added a feature where you hold down option command and then you click and then you drag. And then that will, what they call tie it. So the notes will play a lot longer than just the hit. So you want to transpose this down or anything. You go right here, transpose, let's play it. We lift it back up an octave. And then if you want to have more notes than what's on here, you just go right here, go to the templates. It gives you pretty much the same options. I'm gonna to go to minor. And then from there, as you see, we have a lot more notes to play with. And then even then you just go right here and just make sure you change it to the scale you want. And then you're good to go from there. So you have so many different options. And I feel like this is a great feature to have because it just changes things up where you don't have to do this. And sometimes it wouldn't work. You would have to click off and everything like that. It makes everything a lot smoother and a lot better. So I just loaded up some drums into the step sequencer and uh, I'm gonna show you guys one of the updates that they did here, which is dope. At least to me is dope. I'm excited about it because before when I would make a hi-hat pattern, I would have to uh, change it to a MIDI region and everything and then try and you know, drag things down notes, but you don't have to do that no more. So let me turn this into a pattern region. And I'm just gonna show you guys, put a little hi-hat pattern. Did that on accident, go ahead and do these. So let me play this, turn the metronome off. Okay, so now when you click here, you have more options. You have note and octave. Now before, when I tried this with note, it wouldn't work. It would play one of these other sounds here. So now when I do it, i move it up some. And now as you can hear, it's changing it like that, changing the note. So it makes doing your hi-hat rolls and everything just that much easier. And you can drop stuff down octaves. Let me do that. So it gives just more the ability to do that right here versus having to put it into MIDI and change it from there is great. And I'm going to have a lot of fun with that. So this is the feature that I am most excited about. I know the spatial audio is cool. And if you want to add spatial audio, you go to mix and then you go to Dolby Atmos and you go to spatial audio, Dolby Atmos. And you hit OK right here. And then once you're in here, they give you the screen. I'm going to do a separate video on this. I'm going to mix a beat like it. And this is also for if you have what type of system you have. I use headphones for it. So I'm going to hit this right here. And then it's good to go. So as you see, it's simple to turn it on. But I don't really use it. Or I haven't really used it yet. I should say I've tested it out a little bit. It's pretty cool. As you see, the panning is completely different. You can put something all the way behind you and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. So I don't know if you guys will be able to hear it if I just mess around with it real quick. But even that just sounds different. But since I'm using my monitors right now, it's I'm not hearing it behind me. But let me put my headphones on to see. So 
So yeah, I was able to hear it behind me. So it's pretty cool. Hopefully you guys had headphones on and you were able to hear it. But as I mentioned, I'm going to have a separate video on that. But I just wanted to give the step sequencer some shine because I feel like it's going to be one of the things that people gloss over. And I feel like they keep making this step sequencer better and better. And hopefully this will be something for the future. I don't know if they're watching this, but this will be something they can implement. If they can make it to where you can do your scales in the piano roll, like line up the keys or it's colored a certain way for when it's in scale and everything, that would be awesome. Anyway, you guys, check out this video if you wanna know more about making your melodies and whatnot in the piano roll, and you apply this new feature to it, and it will be a piece of cake. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Thank you for watching.